We played hide and seek for hours, raised our shadows among the pines. So offshore, playful and free, without a care in the world. I was one rich little girl. everyone welcome back to my channel my name is Renee if you're new today's video is going to be a very chill weekend in my life just because the forecast for this weekend is super super rainy so I'm not gonna get out too much I was going to do a March plan with me but there's honestly not enough content I don't think for like a full video and I know you guys really like the plan with me so I still want to do it there are some things that I want to do so we're gonna just throw it in this vlog and we're gonna start with that so I'm gonna do some spring planning I have a list here of things that I want to go through the first thing that I want to do is go through kind of like a yearly ref or a yearly reflection we are not there yet a monthly reflection i did that last time and i thought it was such a good way to kind of just reflect but also like move forward with some things that have worked some things that haven't worked that you've been doing for your month it was like a little journal entry that i did if you guys remember the january february plan with me nine things that you want to do in your journal entry. So the first thing is some things that you've accomplished this month, and then you're gonna do any big events that you have this month. So like birthdays or like events or traveling, if you have any traveling. Some things that you've been most proud of this month, the most challenging parts of your month, how are you different? Any personal struggles that you've been dealing with, things that you've learned and you want to remember, any projects, so you're gonna break down your projects, projects that have been completed, projects that are currently in progress and projects that you need to work on for this upcoming month. You're gonna create another section of things that you want to start doing this month stop doing this month and continue to do this month like things that you've been doing this month that you want to continue so i'm gonna go ahead and do my little reflection journaling session and then i'll talk to you guys after Won't you stay? Welcome to my little monthly reflection. I'm gonna open up with you guys a little bit about what I journaled out. Um, the first little section is things that I've accomplished. I feel like I've definitely accomplished and kind of mastered the creator slash editor split, the involvement I wanna be involved in in terms of editing my stuff. Not mastered, but I started and understood reels. I hate learning new things and it like is overwhelming and is kind of intimidating. So when I actually have time to sit down and play with it, this past week my goal was to like do one a day for Monday through Friday and I ended up doing four. So I think like the more you practice with things like that, like new stuff, the easier it becomes and you kind of slowly but surely start to master it. I've also mastered my skincare routine. I've gotten a whole new set of skincare and we'll do a video up like up and coming any big events i don't know if this is like for february or for march but i did it for march i have taxes joy i'm doing a laser treatment i have my cousin's birthday spring is officially starting in march which is exciting because i really do like align my content with season so like whenever there's a new season that starts it's really exciting for me on my channel because i get like super creatively inspired things that i'm most proud about implementing new fresh habits for myself i've been really proud of myself for trying new things like i said i did reels i tried this new app called clubhouse putting my pride to the side and trying it out is something i'm really proud about and then also my work split like i just said about like my creator and slash editing split social media in general some things that have been most challenging for me is food and health so i get on like really good kicks but then i like just mess up for like two or three days in a row so i need to keep that like motivation going throughout the whole week confidence i kind of opened up about this in a separate video but everything online i kind of like let you know things get to me and social media get to me and the world get to me. I think we've all been there. Basically the common theme of like my challenge in February. Um, and then I had one of my dad's like anniversaries. So if you guys aren't familiar with my channel or didn't watch me, um, my dad actually passed away last year. I haven't dealt with a death 
before so I've heard like the anniversaries especially like the first year is like really bad and my dad's birthday was this month so that was a little bit difficult how am I any different I now know what I want I feel like the past few months I've been really struggling with not even knowing what I want but I have a vision in my head I'm in like manifesting mode I have planted many seeds and hopefully we can watch them grow together I feel like I'm more open I was kind of scared with just opening up about personal stuff in my life which I feel like is the good part of my channel I tend to like hold things in it just like eats up at me because no one really knows what's going on and then finally like when I blurt it out or talk about it I'm just like <sighs> any personal struggles confidence like I just said in social media has been something that's just been like eating at me I feel much better than what I felt like mid-month things I want to, that I've learned that I want to remember to keep God first this month I was kind of not as invested in like my spiritual part of me and it definitely reflected for sure and so I know like when I keep that aspect of my life like front of my life and my problems everything else seems to be like okay or like at least I feel like much better connecting and networking is something that I've also learned the importance of this month like being an influencer it's very like isolating you work from home you work for yourself being able to like connect and network with people you learn things especially in the same industry as you or even in like different industries you learn so much also the fact that you can have it all i felt like there was certain things in the beginning of the month where I was like trying to like make a decision like which one should I go for or like what can I what do I want why can't we have it all why can't we try to accomplish both you can accomplish it all if you put your mind to it any projects that I've completed is like my skincare slash makeup routine I've completely done my spring cleaning that was something that I need to put in my accomplishment things that are have been in progress spring cleaning my apartment and my life things that have been in progress are my taxes they're almost done thank the lord a potential project that I'm working on another kind of like laser treatment for my skin long story but I've been working on this for the past like two years and Hopefully this will be the answer and I'll open up about it in a separate video. Any projects for next month? I want to go home again for a specific like business kind of thing. Also do like an Instagram challenge with myself. I have this new like Instagram concept that I want to work on. Things that I want to, that I've started that I want to start is like my content shift in terms of my focus like i've been really focusing on delegating certain tasks to people so i can focus on other things just because i can have it all doesn't mean i can do it all i feel like there's such a like importance in delegating and like letting go of certain tasks that you know just makes sense in terms of time and money anything that i want to stop this month is doubting myself and i think a lot of that is tied to like comparing yourself and also being online i put rushing god just because i felt like when i was like reading my, my bible this month or like watching church i was just kind of like rushing it it was just like a task but when i sit down and like meditate on it and like really take my time and reflect it's a feeling of being like okay you know don't rush god or the universe whatever things i want to continue is my self-care routine and then my habits which we'll talk about here in a second but yeah that was my little february monthly review i think you guys should do it it's really fun i like to do my habit tracker and kind of like my weekly spread on this dry erase board um it's great you can actually like slip it underneath your desktop or just have it out on your office space i'll link it down below i got it from amazon i'm gonna be doing the habits that i want to do this week on here so the first one is morning walks so i just like write down which habits i want to do and then as the month goes on i'll just like check mark for every day that i do it this is like such a good habit that i've started it makes you feel like you started your day off on such a good foot and then we're gonna do journaling which i've been implementing since the beginning of the year and i've been loving my bible reading which again i've been loving so i'm reading this huge book called outlander so i want to see if i can do 30 pages a day it's huge so i tend to get bored if i read books for too long but that's the goal and then we're gonna do like non-fiction book i've been slacking on my non-fiction books clubhouse this is that app that i've been telling you guys about it's really great for like networking or any like goals that you have instagram and reels so i'm just gonna put insta so i want to post a reel or like a post every day and something that i want to do for instagram is post like a picture of myself and then a picture of something else and then a picture of myself and then a picture of something else i did that a couple years ago and i felt like the aesthetic was so much nicer and i'm kind of over like just all pictures of myself you know like i want to get back to like just taking like 
pretty photography pictures or something like that. These are my habits for the week. And then as for something that I've been doing daily, so we're gonna do like Monday, have a split between social life, work, the gym, or like movement. What I'll do here as the days go by is like, for example, if Monday, if I have like an appointment or a meeting or a lunch or something, I'll add like my social event and then I'll do like a little dash and then we'll do like what I'm doing for work and then I'll do a dash and then I'll do like what I'm doing for movement. Having those three things to do daily really does make me feel so much better. So yeah, that's this little whiteboard situation that I have going on here. So now I like to set kind of like a monthly intention, which I typically won't do until the month actually starts and it just comes to me, but I feel like it's already came to me. The first month of the year, January, a common theme was let go and let God and kind of just release any sort of like need to control aspects of your life and kind of just like letting it flow and letting it happen which i've kept with me throughout this year it's been such a theme this month didn't really go as planned i had like a situation at the airport i had read somewhere about feeling the need to like gossip or talk or like complain and i feel like that affects not only your you know mood and mindset but also seeps into other people's and i didn't like that so i was like annoyed with something i was gonna run to know and be like oh my god can you believe x y and z and i literally took a breath and like why do i feel the need to tell him that like it's, it doesn't bother me and like just don't let it bother you it doesn't bother me so i was like that's the theme it doesn't bother me but then everything that was happening in my life in february i was like it doesn't bother me it doesn't bother me but like deep down it was and i was like screw it so that one might come up in another month hopefully the beginning of the month it was working i feel like this month i really want to focus on the word grind i know there's like a grind culture and i'm not trying to get that deep i'm not trying to sit here and tell you you need to be busy all the time for me i tend to get in my head a lot when i'm not doing anything so i feel like i want to use the time that i have on this earth wisely you know like i don't really want to waste my time doing something that isn't serving me i want to take advantage of that time and take advantage of my health and take advantage of like my situation and my opportunities so i want to grind i want to work on my fitness game i want want to work keep my social game going like just stay productive stay busy and utilize everything that has been blessed in your life you know that's the goal and that doesn't mean i'm gonna rush i feel like there's a difference between grinding and rushing i tend to think of grinding as like getting it done so quickly but this month i really want to grind and really focus in and like zone in and get in that flow state of mind you know that's my little march plan with me um hope you guys enjoyed that was kind of long actually that could have been a video <laughs> so i kind of just organized this a little bit better but i did it in an order that i could cross it off as the day goes by so first thing i want to do in the morning is to put god first so i want to read the bible first thing in the morning and then i want to do my journaling and then i'll read my nonfiction, like a chapter and then i want to get ready that's something that i added just because i tend to stay in my pjs all day and that just like doesn't help me in terms of my mental health so getting ready like even if it's just brushing my hair my morning walk and then i'll go ahead and work my daily tasks through that's a better kind of outlay of my habits all right this portion of the video is going to be sponsored by built bar you guys know how much i love my built bars if you guys are into health or fitness you guys i'm sure have heard of them they are protein bars but they're basically like little candy bars they are super high in protein super low in sugar super low in carbs super low in calories yet I don't know how they've managed to get the texture of a freaking candy bar. I personally like the variety pack because you can try a whole bunch of different flavors. Um, I ate the peanut butter one last night and it was so, so good. So I'm going to do the peanut butter brownie one. I'll show you guys what it looks like. Told you it's like a candy bar. I'll pop a link down below for you guys. They have a code for you guys to use. Amberg20, you guys can get 20% off. Highly, highly recommend to get the variety pack at first just to try different flavors. I have yet to try the cookie dough one. If you guys have tried the cookie dough one, let me know down below how it is. Mm. This is what it looks like in the middle. It's just so great. Huge shout out to them for sponsoring today's video i'll link all this stuff down below all right guys we are now in the kitchen i'm gonna make some protein oat balls i've shared this recipe before i actually got it from another influencer sammy clark and they're really really great 
and quick and easy and if I make a batch of them typically on the weekends I'll have them throughout the whole week so I will gravitate towards eating healthier options than eating chocolate or snacks or something like that. The ingredients that you will need are oats and last time I made them with just the regular oats but this time I'm gonna grind up the oats to make kind of like a flour. Some shredded coconut and obviously you can put whatever kind of toppings you want but I like coconut chocolate chips. I'm gonna scoop in a nut butter. So the nut butter of my choosing is always peanut butter. I'm gonna put in some flax seed. This is really, really good for omega-3 fiber. Super healthy, make sure it's ground. And then you're gonna need honey. How freaking cute is this little honey jar from pharmacy? I freaking love it. I think I'm gonna need more than this. And then I'm gonna do a scoop of Vega One protein. Let's make some protein oats. Sunday. Today we are gonna venture on outside even though it's super gloomy and rainy out. We pass by a museum called the Ripley's Believe It or Not Museum quite often. It looks honestly like a children's museum but I used to read those books all the time and I'm kind of like in the mood to look at super weird interesting stuff. I don't know I always pass by and I'm like I'm gonna go there one day and today it just happens to be that day. I got ready for the second time in a row. Who is she? I'm just wearing this basic white top jewelry is always Anna Luisa. The pants are the Princess Polly uh, pants that I'm like obsessed with. I forgot, I think they're called the Hayden jeans. I put my hair up in a French braid, that's what I do when my hair is not washed completely. It's a great way to just slick it back, you know? We're gonna venture on outside. So I'm gonna throw on my Doc Martens. I told you guys in a video once that these were so comfortable and they were. I had like a size too big, so I kept tripping all the time. So I went back and got my correct size and then I wore them once and I literally ripped, it was so disgusting, but I ripped like the whole back of my heel. The Doc Martens, I guess you have to like wear them in. So I haven't worn them since, I'm honestly terrified, but I found uh, these socks on Amazon that are made specifically for Doc Martens, so they're a little bit thicker. I got these heels, like band-aids if you will, but they're anti-blister. So I'm gonna wear those with these. We're gonna try these babies out again, I'm kind of scared. Talk to me nice, talk to me honestly Look in my eyes, don't let it fall on me Say you're a good guy, make me believe it Don't wanna hear it, I wanna see it See how Rewind, when we rewind Feels so nice, we time We just got out, it's still raining, but I had a lot of fun. If you guys go, get the bundle, because apparently they work together, but we were not aware of that, or they didn't offer it to us, so if you go, just get the bundle, and we ended up going to the wax museum too. They're right next door to each other. It was pretty cool, it was fun. It was something to do, you know? I have just been doing a little bit of work, but I am going to enjoy the rest of my night. I think I'm gonna take a bath and just relax and do some self-care and just enjoy the rest of my rest day and get prepared for the week. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys all in a future one. Love you.